Hey traders and investors, this is Swing Trading 101. This is going to be a series that we do here on the channel, teaching traders how to start from the basics and become profitable swing traders in the stock market. I myself am a full-time day and swing trader, and at Master the Market, we turn beginners into consistently profitable traders. And that is exactly what the goal of this series is going to be. For everybody that's looking to get into swing trading, this is a great place to start. And we're going to start from the basics here in this video. And in the future parts of this series, we're going to gradually get more and more advanced so that you can start making educated swing trades on your own. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future parts of this series. Now, with all of that being said, we're going to start off with what the differences are between the types of trades that we commonly talk about which are day trades, swing trades, and then longer term investments. A day trade is simply when a trader holds a position anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, but they're exiting that position within the same day that they opened it. This differs slightly from swing trading because swing trading is when a trader is going to hold a position for typically a few days, up to a few weeks, and sometimes all the way up to a few months. And swing trading is a little bit different from investing because an investment is typically held for many months or even over a year. All of these have their own pros and cons, and all of them are going to be a little bit better for some people than they are for others. But a lot of people, I will say, are drawn to day trading because there is a potential to make a substantial amount of money in just a few minutes to a few hours. But of course, with that potential for profit, there's going to be a great potential risk. Swing trading, on the other hand, is not necessarily as popular but it can be a little bit easier to get into because there is less volatility. And as long as they're doing it properly, swing traders shouldn't have to deal with the losses as big as the ones that day traders do. Okay, so when it comes to pros and cons of swing trading, as opposed to these other types of trading, the first big pro is that there are large potential returns. If you're investing in the general market, um, let's say that you buy the ETF for the S&P 500, which is SPY, this is going to, on average, return about 10% per year. So if you invest $10,000, you can expect to, on average, make about $1,000 in profit every single year from that long-term investment. On the other hand, if we take one of the swing trades that we just alerted in the Market Master Group over the past month, the symbol is TSLL. It moves hand-in-hand -hand with Tesla stock, only it's leveraged, so every time Tesla goes up 1%, TSLL is going to go up 1.5%. And about a month ago, we alerted this at $5.82 for a potential swing trade, and it's currently trading at about $12 per share. So it's gone up over 100% in the past month or so, which would be the equivalent of about 10 years of long-term investing in SPY. Another big pro to swing trading is that there is going to be slightly less volatility than there is in day trading. And this really just comes down to the type of stocks that swing traders choose to trade, as opposed to the stocks that day traders choose to trade. This is something that we're going to get into a little bit more in the future of this series, but simply put, swing traders are going to usually be looking for more consistent trending stocks as opposed to these highly volatile stocks that are spiking up and down very quickly. Another huge pro to swing trading is that it can be mostly passive. This is great because if you are somebody with another job, you don't have to dedicate your entire morning to looking at the stock market, reading news, doing technical analysis like you typically have to do with day trading. You can look at some different scans and some different screeners at any time of the day to find stocks that are meeting your specific criteria for your swing trades. You can place those orders to get into those stocks at the prices that you want to buy them at. And from there, you can basically just set alerts to have the market notify you whenever the price of that stock reaches a specific price. So that way you can sell at a profit or if you need to, you can cut your loss on the trade. Another big pro to swing trading is that you're able to collect dividend payments on the stocks, of course, that do offer dividends. Uh, and then another big pro to swing trading is that if there is an options chain for the stock that you're swing trading, you would then be able to create income for yourself by using what are known as covered calls. And really the only con of swing trading as opposed to day trading and longer term investing, in my opinion at least, is that there is the potential for unexpected news. With day trading, the nice thing about it is that you're in and out of these stocks within the same day, so you don't have to hold those positions overnight. And I would say about 99% of the time when a company is going to put out some kind of news, it's going to be after the market closes or before the market opens. So if that news happens to be negative and have a negative effect on the stock, that can cause the stock to drop in extended hours trading. And that, of course, would cause you to lose money on your swing trade, which is something that, again, day traders don't necessarily have to deal with. 
Now, when it comes to swing trading and choosing a brokerage to open an account with for your swing trading, there are tons of different options and most of them are going to be very similar now that most of these brokers have become completely commission free for US stock trades. With that being said, a few of the ones that I like to recommend are going to be TD Ameritrade, Webull, and then Interactive Brokers. All three of these are going to have a minimum account balance of $0, so you can get started with as little or as much as you'd like. They all are also going to be completely commission free for US stock trades, so you don't have to worry much about fees eating into your potential profits. And all of them have mobile app platforms as well as desktop platforms, uh, which means that of course you can trade on the go if you're using your mobile phone, or if you wanna use a more advanced trading platform, they have that option available as well. So the next big question that a lot of people are going to ask is how much money do you need to start? My advice is going to be to start small. A big account just means that you're going to deal with bigger losses, and there's no reason to put $20,000, $50,000, $100,000 or more at risk while you're still learning and while you're still building confidence in your trading strategy. If we take a quick look over here at this compound interest calculator, let's just say that we start with an account balance of $2,000, and over the span of 36 months, we're able to, with our swing trading, generate a profit of 10% per month, compounding those profits every single month. In three years or in 36 months, our account of $2,000 would have already grown to over $60,000. So if we break this down month by month, obviously we can see going from 2000 to 2200 and then from 2200 to 2420 those are relatively small profits, but these small profits are going to add up very quickly if you're compounding them and if you're using these trading strategies that are able to consistently generate a 10% or so profit. So again, starting small does not mean that you can't make big profits in the long run with swing trading. I recommend you do just that instead of putting all of your hard earned money at risk right off the bat while you're still learning how to trade. Okay, so that's going to do it for the part one of this series. Make sure to stay tuned for part two because we're going to start talking about how you can read price action and read charts in order to properly execute the strategies that we're going to teach you. If you wanna learn more about day trading, swing trading, and long-term investing in the meantime, or if you want to join us in our daily interactive trading group, all of that can be found at my website, Master the Market, which will be the first link down below in the description. But anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your trading.